In this video, I want to go over the usage of DD to create bootable USB devices. DD is a terminal based data duplicator or disk destroyer, depending on the input and output you give it. It's really versatile. It can make bootable USB devices, it can clear drives, it can create an entire backup of a drive or a partition to another device. It works pretty quickly, but it is by no means a speed demon, at least in the use case that I'm going to be showing off today. There's lots of different ways to create USBs in Linux, but for me, DD is the way to go. It's simple, easy, and straightforward. It, you just give it an input file, a destination, and go. But there's no progress bar or monitoring, or monitoring by default. But I want to show an easy way to monitor the progress of DD, and maybe you'll use this next time you decide to make a bootable USB device. And the first way I want to show how to get a an output from DD is to just give it a flag that's already built in, no big deal, and you can even make an alias in, an alias to this in your bash RC file. So you don't even have to remember to do it. So let's hop over to the terminal real quick and I'll show you how to use DD and get an output. So first and foremost, we're going to need to know what our USB drive letter is so we can know what our output is going to be. So to find that, we're going to do LSBLK. And here we can see that SDD is my 16 gigabyte uh, USB stick. So let's clear the screen here and we're in my downloads directory and I can list that out and I have an Arch Linux ISO that I want to write out to my USB stick. And this process is easy enough. So we're going to clear the screen again and we're going to do sudo dd if or input file equals home slash downloads slash Arch Linux and you can do tab to autocomplete. And we're gonna do our output file equals slash dev slash SDD. And we're gonna do status equals progress. And we actually get some output here. So we can actually monitor the progress of the command here but it doesn't give us a bar and there's another there's another utility we can use alongside dd to actually give us a bar across the screen and we're back so if that's all you really want to get out of dd is just some kind of output to let you know that it's still working that's really about all you need but I believe we can do one better. Let's use PV and get a proper progress bar across our terminal. So uh, it may not be installed on your system by default. So, to, so on a Debian based system, you want to do sudo apt search PV. And it's going to be way up the list. PV. A shell pipeline element to meter data passing through. So you do sudo apt install pv. I've already got it installed so now you can do man pv to get some more information about it. And I highly recommend re, uh, at least perusing this to kind of see what all you can do with pv. So let's use PV as our input, DD as our output, and see what it looks like. We're going to be making the same Arch Linux ISO onto the same USB. So let's do PV home slash downloads slash my Arch ISO piped through sudo DD output file equals slash dev slash SDD. And now we get a proper 
progress bar. It gives us an it gives us the elapsed time. It gives us an ETA. It gives us the speed that it's working at, and how much data has been written so far. So, in this application, you can kind of see it as a as PV as progress view. Go back through the command again. We're trying to get a progress view of our Arch Linux ISO piped through DD to our USB stick. So once you kind of break it down, you can talk your way through the command. And tab completion is definitely your friend on this because typing out Arch Linux 2020.02.01-x86 underscore 64.iso is kind of a long name. So thank goodness for tab completion. So that's about all I've got for today. I just kind of wanted to show off the DD command and how useful it is for creating bootable USB sticks, how easy it is to use, and you can get some kind of output by giving it a flag or giving it a an alias in your bash RC to dd equals dd status equals progress in your bash rc and you would get the first output that we got then if but if you wanted to get a proper line across your terminal that would be easier done with pv uh, pv would be your input dd would be your output it's really simple just make sure you're doing the right usb stick <laughs> You don't want to do that on slash dev slash SDA if you have a, if if you're booting off of a hard drive or an SSD, and that would and SDA is your root, that would not be good. So always double check, always double check. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a nice evening.